Hi, I'm Victor from Project Plan 365 and in this video I'm going to present to you how to print on a Windows device using Project Plan 365 app. Today we will discuss about customize your printed document, preview the changes made, save or export the printed PDF file. Let's open our sample file. Let's say that we need to print the entire Gantt chart view in an A3 paper size with a landscape orientation and to fit the entire view in one page. For this, we go to Ribbon, File, Print and click on Page Setup button. On Paper Size, select A3 and set the orientation to Landscape. To print the entire view on one page, select the Scaling section Fit to one page wide by one tall. Now, let's preview the changes made. For this, Click on Print Preview button in the bottom of this dialog. As you can see, the Gantt chart fits on one page. Let's make the time scale a bit smaller in order to have a better fit on an A3 paper size. Go back to Gantt chart view and double click on the time scale. We set the middle tier to months and the bottom tier to weeks and click OK. Notice that now the task bars are smaller. Let's also change the column order in our printed document. For our document, we will need task name, percent complete and finish date. Please note that the print functionality always prints the current view. Let's move the percent complete and finish date columns near task names and make them visible in the Gantt chart view. Let's preview the changes made to the file and how the printed document looks like. For this, we will make the same steps as we showed earlier in this video. As you can see, we have a better image on the entire plan. We also want to show the legend on the last page of the entire document and we need to add on the header the logo and the title of the project. In the footer, we need to add the pagination and the current date. To achieve this, in the Page Setup dialog, select the Header tab. On the left bar, click on Insert Picture button and select the picture with the logo. On the center tab, click on the Insert File Name button. You can preview all the changes made on the top of this dialog. Now, on the Page Setup dialog, select the footer option and on the center tab, by default, there is the pagination. On the right tab, let's click on the Date button. As you can see, on the Legend tab, by default, the legend appears on the last page of the printed document. You can also add the legend on every page or hide it. Let's save the generated file by going to the Print dialog and on the bottom of this dialog, click on the OK button. Select the location and insert the name of the file and click Save. I hope that you now have a clear understanding on how to print a plan on a Windows device using Project Plan 365 app. Thank you for watching. For more info, you can access projectplan365.com slash print minus windows.